Hello everyone, my name is Mike Geig and I'm here with an update to my Pong made in 4 minutes in Unity video. Back in 2013 I saw a video of uh, some guys building a game in Unity in 3 minutes and I thought I wonder if I could build Pong in 4. And I did and you know back then I, I did things just kind of fast and you know maybe not the best practices here and there and some things have changed in the engine since then. So here's my updated video, something I've been wanting to do for a while. So this is Pong in 4 minutes made in Unity, uh, I believe the version I'm using right now is 5.6 so this is an updated version with some maybe updated workflow flows maybe a little bit better practices than what I did in the previous video. So um, this is, you know, again, just a complete remake of that. You can go back and watch that one if you want, but, but a few things in there won't really apply anymore and whatever. So this is probably just a good place to start. Uh, I am using just sort of a modified layout here, which is going to help see the scene view in the game at the same time and uh, just kind of help with how we're building this. So Without further ado, uh, here is how you can make Pong in four minutes in Unity. The first thing I'm going to do is modify the main camera. I'm going to set its Y value to zero, and I'm going to change its projection to orthographic with a size of six. Then I'm going to go to Create 3D Object Cube. I'm going to do that twice, and I'm also going to create 3D Object Sphere. Now this first cube I'm going to name Bump1, and this is going to be my bumper. I'll place it at negative 900 with a scale of 0 0.5, 3, and 1. I'm going to duplicate that bumper, and this one will become bump2, and this one will be at positive 9. My second cube here will become wall, and I'm going to place that at 0, negative 6, 0, with a scale of about 23 there. And then I'm going to duplicate this wall and place it just at positive 6. On my sphere, I'm going to add a rigid body, add component physics rigid body so it can bounce around, but I do not want gravity. Now, I'm going to go to my project view and right click create physics material here, physics material, which I'll name bouncy. This is going to make my stuff bounce around. I'm going to give it friction of zero, bounciness of one with the bounce combine of maximum. Now, I'm going to go to edit project settings and physics, and I'm going to move bouncy into my default physics material, and I'm going to go to edit project settings input and I'm going to duplicate my vertical input axis. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate the array element. Now this new one I'm going to name vertical 2 and this is only going to use down and up so I'm going to get rid of S and W and then regular vertical is going to get rid of down and up so uh, S and W controls my left player, my up, down and up controls my right. Now I'm going to right click on my project view, I'm going to create a C sharp script which I will call ball for ball script here and then I'll right click again create C sharp and I will create a bumper script. I'm going to open up my bumper script here. There we go. And my bumper script is going to be thus. So I'm going to start off by saying public uh, bool is bump one. So is this the first bumper here? And then public float speed and we'll set that equal to 5f. There we go. Inside update, I'm going to say if is bump one. So if this is bumper number one, we are going to say transform.translate or move. And we are going to move zero on the x-axis. On the y-axis, we're going to say input.getAxis. And remember that player there is our vertical, our regular vertical. So I'll just search for vertical there. Helps if I type, uh, type it quickly. Times speed times time dot delta time. So it goes the same speed for everybody. And then we're not moving on the z-axis. And then I will say else, and then I will grab this line again. So if this is not bumper one, then it is in bumper two, then it is bumper two. So I will just search vertical two. So that's done there. And now on ball, I'm going to go ahead and first off declare a public variable here, which I'm going to say public float speed equals five f. There we go. So that's the speed of the ball. And now for the starting, we want to pick a random start uh, x direction. So I'm going to do uh, float sx equals random dot range. And I'm going to pick a number between 0 and 1. And then based on, or sorry, 0 and 1, so I'm going to type 2 there. And we're going to use a ternary operator to see if we picked 0. If we did, we'll do negative 1, otherwise positive 1. And then I will copy this, paste it, and our second variable will be the y direction. So sy. So there we go. And then finally, we just get to move it. So I'm going to say get component rigid body to get access to the rigid body component we have there. We're going to set the velocity of it to a new vector 3. And that vector 3 is going to be, uh, first off, speed times sx and speed times sy and 0f because we're not moving in the 
z direction. All right, and so that is the ball script. And at this point, I'm going to come back here, and for bump one, I'm going to grab the uh, bumper script and say, yes, you are bump one. For the sphere, I'm going to put on the ball script, and then for bump two, I'm going to grab the bumper script, and it is not bump one. And that should be it. That's four minutes exactly. So I'm going to hit play, and I can see here I can control these, and here, and there we go. So four minutes on the nose, and I took some time for explanations and stuff, and uh, there we go. Pong and the updated video, it's, you know, maybe a slightly better practices here and there, but uh, there we go. We could add a script so to detect when the ball leaves, it pops back to the middle or whatever, so we can keep playing, uh, but that's what I was able to do in four minutes. So uh, enjoy uh, this updated version of the video, and I hope that was, uh, was helpful.